Ankh here, and I'm back again with Inchinot. And Infinite holds a special place in my heart. I'm sure that many of you have a pool one or pool two card that you just really love that just isn't that great. You can't play that often. Maybe it's Blue Marvel, maybe it's Squirrel Girl. And sure, those cards have their place in certain decks, but Infinite's one of those cards that you really have to build around it. And you can build around him pretty well now with high evolutionary and floating mana. He's really strong. And then with magic, uh, getting the, the rework not too long ago, this deck is pretty solid. You know, you win a lot of games just on turn five after they see your leech and they retreat. And if they don't, you play infinite plus she Hulk or Hulk plus infinite for a ton of power. You probably don't have priority, so you can't get Shang Chi'd. Um, the big, you know, downside, I guess, is Eliath. And Eliath is out there, but you can protect that with Cosmo or Armor. So this deck is pretty solid. Um, I played Gold Conquest tickets with it, and I was winning. So it's a legit tier two deck, and uh, give it the respect it deserves. I haven't run this deck in a hot minute. Not since it's received a lot of good cards. I've not tried it with High Evolutionary. I've just tried it way back in the day. Plain old Infinite she Knot. Okay, okay. Samir. My deck doesn't have Jeff, though. I don't care that much about drawing the cards. Did that pull? Nothing, because Cosmo. Um, I'm willing to see his turn five play for one cube. I feel like that's the problem with this deck is that there's just, if you don't draw your magic, you really lose out on your combo. He's only up by 10 there. Down by 2 there. So he has to play at least two different locations. I kind of like this. I'll grow a little here. So that he has to play at least two cards there. I like it. I'm not willing to go 8 on it, but... I'm willing to do four. Sunspot's gonna grow. Feeling pretty good. Not eight cubes good. I was feeling pretty good. He would have won if he had just played more to the right. That's why did not do eight cubes. <laughs> Very well could have lost. Do we armor now? I think we armor the sunspot because we can magic middle. Now, I don't think he's running Killmonger, but I don't know. He reveals first. We can play two cards there, actually. It's not terrible. I kind of want to draw a card. Oh. 
We can magic that. Is that what we want to do? I think so. We could also just throw a Cyclops on it. And then our sun spot can always grow. I like that. You can magic that. Unless you Cosmos. But we'll have priorities, so... Can't Cosmo that. He's probably... Wouldn't surprise me if he had Doom. We're taking a chance that our Cosmo doesn't die, but that's okay. Okay. We can leech. The problem is if we leech, we fill up our left side. I think we're probably just better off floating a turn. Gives us more potential with she not or Infinite, which is two out of the three draws. So, just hope we don't draw High Evolutionary. Daredevil, that does nothing for you. And now he's full on that side, so... We just played against an Inchinot, one of our last games, one of the last games I posted. It's not a bad deck. I think the other guy loaded up with like a weird Viper, Hood, Green Goblin package, which just kind of didn't make any sense. Why you try to combine the decks? It's kind of tricky. I guess it's good for that factor, but that's not good in Conquest. Conquest's not a place where you can be tricky for very long. Unless you happen to get an 8-cube game. Okay, he's drawing from my deck. Okay, well... I think I still want Cosmo, because... Infinite in my hand. That's totally cool with me. Basically played that card for me, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, I think he's more likely to play on the right because he's got some on reveal stuff. Iron Lad. I like this game. There's not a lot of space on the board. And I've got a lot of power in my hand. There's the Iron Lad. So that can move around with Jeff, so he can get the left lane. That's a little inconvenient, because that makes me kind of have to really fight for these lanes. And I don't think there's any way I can get anything in the left lane. I think I'm probably better off just playing She-Hulk. The problem with She-Hulk is I don't float mana. I guess isn't that big of a deal. can't play Infinite next turn. I kind of have to hope I draw Hulk, which is a 1 and 3. Sure. He's only 6 points away in that lane. Didn't draw Hulk. Yeah, I don't like this. So on the board I'm up to, but it's not a 50-50. This is like that classic scenario where they have three doors. Escaped. They have three doors. Behold my creations. It's the classic scenario where they have three doors, right? You're supposed to choose one. You choose one, they open a door. 
they show you, hey, there was nothing here. Do you want to change to the other door? And a good thing you didn't choose that door. And you say, gosh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like a fool if I changed. And it was the one I had all along. But statistically, you're better off changing doors. That's the chance I have. It's just winning there is just sticking with my door out of stubbornness. good. I think I like this, to be honest. I think that suits me more than it suits him. But I have priority, so if I want to get rid of that, I can. Which I think I do. I think, let's put an end to that right now. Infinite's only four. Hulk's only four because of wave. Doesn't really help me that much. Do I just play She-Hulk? Maybe. I like the surprise factor though. Uh, yeah. Kinda sucks. The cool thing is, like, we can do this. We have the option to do nothing next turn. Wind aid my Probably friend. won't want to do with that. So he's just a lockdown deck. Weird. He runs Electro on this deck? He can move his Jeff over, but that's not going to be enough. He might have Doom, but that's still not enough. I have Hulk. He already popped his alley off. Goliath. You might have Shang-Chi. Haven't seen everything, I don't think. But this is a game where it's definitely a 50-50. If he has Shang-Chi, he probably plays it left, though, right? This Hulk's going to grow one as well. Not enough. Yeah, I guess that was a stubbornness play, because... I don't know how he thought he was going to win with the Doom. Okay. He's got Shang-Chi as his icon. They don't always run Shang-Chi, these people, but they usually run Shang-Chi. Now, most people run it in general, so statistically, hey. Yeah, there's nothing we want to protect so far, so may as well make Hulk a little cheaper. Why not? Destroy deck. Possibly discard, but if you have discard, you're probably running Modok. If you're probably running Modok, should play it left. Uh, it's okay. Thing is, I don't have a lot of cards that I can play in this deck. Like being able to fill up Mojo World's kind of a challenge. So. It really wasn't that big of a deal. It gets an extra plus two on Wolverine.
Uh, it's kind of worth leeching here. Now he can't destroy it, but I'm losing two lanes. Yeah. You gotta be smart. You're losing two lanes. How am I gonna win and maintain a lane? Escaped. That's not gonna happen. Like, if all he has is Destroyer, maybe then it's a 50-50. But it's less than a 50-50. Because there's a lot of different possibilities he could have. Um, I've played this a lot. Unless they've changed something, High Evolutionary nullifies Washington, D.C. with these cards because they now have powers. Play Misty Knight here, almost guaranteed. Well, he probably has Killmonger, so we want to protect Sunspot. Although with random decks, we may no longer have it. There it is. Protected. <sighs> I was thinking about playing Misty Knight together, but I just didn't want to fill up a bunch of space with just one drops. Well, Black Cat for sure. Why did I lose it? It's a strong card. He has Shang-Chi. have Leech. Thing is, I don't really know what he's running. And I have a bunch of bad things. Okay. So I think he panic played that because he knew he'd lose the bonus if I leeched. Jubilee, we have no idea what we're hitting with that. I'm losing two lanes. This is a retreat. Escape. Playing a little scary, but not actually, because both of those games, they're not 50-50s. If it was a 50-50, I would just end the turn, see what happens. It's not a 50-50. So we know he, he has Killmonger. Oh, so we want to protect that ASAP, protect his X-23. Ha ha ha, no carnage for you, sir. But he has priority, so will activate. No, it won't. Because he was greedy. I don't really want a copy of that. Probably do. Kind of seems like a bot. I may not have had a better play, but was that really the play? Kinda like that. He's already played his Killmonger. The two threes. That's six power versus I could play She-Hulk. And I don't really have much of a play next turn. I think this is the way to go. If I draw magic, I might play magic. So, I, I don't think it makes sense to play nothing this time, because She-Hulk won't be free. And my Hulk will effectively be as big as the Infinite. It's only two power off an Infinon. <laughs> Why wouldn't he play Shang-Chi on the right? Okay. 
he messed that up pretty hard. Behold my creations. And the potential of Shang Chi both. Why wouldn't you take that chance? You have to know. I'm gonna play a big drop there, right? I don't think I've even seen him play Deadpool. Oh, that's not good. This is a heavy hand. He's gonna burn one of my cards. I don't know what this does. I feel like... I feel like I should do that just to negate whatever this is. I have no idea. And next turn you get plus two energy. Zero one. Probably not pronouncing that right. Went too fast, it did not see what it burned. Shocker. Well, he's already played his Killmonger, so this is safe. So I kind of want a Cosmo so he doesn't, like, eat stuff. A good chance you play some stuff into there, but... But... He has priorities, so... Okay. Got out your Null early. So we got seven turns, so next turn we want to do nothing. Right? So we're going to want to protect... I'll snap as well. I think this is about as good of a case scenario as you're going to see. Next turn I do nothing, and then we can She-Hulk plus Infinite. Or Hulk plus Infinite. Enough said, Bub. So we do absolutely nothing. Our sunspot gets to a 10, and then we have lots of power we can draw. Enough said, Bub. I guess Hulk is more powerful than... That's a cool effect, I don't know. Hulk will get one more tick as well. The thing is, I'm down two lanes. There's a good chance he Venoms? Which will increase the power up to the left. So I don't think we try to be fancy and throw Hulk over there. Chang chi does not work, my guy. If you have priority. <laughs> Let's go. Gold ticket win. Win with a gold ticket. 